I'm Dominique Arnold, the American record holder in 110 meter high hurdles. And today I'm going to talk about the first hurdle, how to approach the first hurdle, the do's and the don'ts. Okay? The first thing I'm going to show you is what not to do, what I've seen a lot of young hurdlers. They come up to the hurdle, and everything's about speed, everything's about continuation through the hurdle. I call these two things the brake and putting on the gas. When you approach the hurdle, depending on which your takeoff leg is, your trail leg, they tend to sit back. If you sit back and put your foot in front of your body, that's putting on the brakes. In hurdling, we want to step on the gas. So stepping on the gas is making sure that foot is right underneath you. That propels you forward into the hurdle, off the hurdle, so on and so forth into the next nine. At this point, after you've properly placed your foot and you're ready to approach the hurdle, your position and your hip height is very important. I see often in younger hurdlers and even at a professional and college level, depending on your hip position, if you sink into the ground, you just made the hurdle higher, causing problems. We want to make sure we keep our hips high. So when we come into the hurdle, we want to step down off the hurdle, once again, on the gas. All that is creating momentum. We don't want to stop our momentum. So in doing so, I come to the hurdle, and I'm forward. My hips are high. I take the hurdle with a, uh, a, a high knee, not with a kicking foot. To kick the foot, it puts everything backwards. Now we're breaking again. But to punch with the knee, you keep all your momentum going forward. And that's what it's all about. We want to keep the speed going. We want to stay running down the track. We want to stay forward. So in keeping my position forward, I punch the knee. I'm here. At this particular point, some people want to rush to the track because they want to run. You have to be patient. Being patient is the most important part of hurdling. If I come up too soon because I want to get my foot down to the track, I hit the hurdle with my trail leg, my takeoff leg. So I stay patient, wait for my trail leg to finish down, then I can run. Before that happens, I have to be patient. The first hurdle is the most important hurdle of all 10 hurdles. You skip this step, then you'll mess, up yourself, you'll mess up for the rest of the hurdles down the track. We want to make sure that we set ourselves up properly to run the right race for our body, for our makeup. You have your heel, you have your calf, your knee, the back of your hamstring and your butt. We want to make sure we don't float the hurdle, we want to step right off the hurdle. But this is imperative because once the trail leg comes through and you keep your position, now you're able to do everything necessary to run off the hurdle. As you'll see in the video, you allow for continuation down the track. But if I sit back off the hurdle, I have to reset myself, position myself for the next hurdle just to get caught back up again. So this is very important as you make sure, as you stay forward, reference points, snap, snapping down the lead leg, being patient with the trail leg so you can get through to the next hurdle and on down the race, down the track. So to summarize, approaching the first hurdle, make sure position, staying forward, putting the foot on the gas, which is keeping the foot underneath you and not putting it out in front of you and leaning back away from the hurdle. Punching the knee, keeping your, minimum, your momentum going forward, staying down off the hurdle, being patient with your trail leg to come through to take you down the track to fast times. I'm Dominique Arnold, and that's your pro tip for today.